So I'm really excited. I'm gearing up to start traveling again. Ever since the pandemic hit, I didn't really go on any trips or take any long vacations or anything. I, I did a few day trips and stuff here and there, uh, but I love traveling and I'm gearing up for a few different trips this summer. Uh, and part of that was I was gonna rethink what goes into my everyday bag, my tech bag, my travel bag, my camera bag. That's what this bag is. It's, it's my all-in-one bag uh, and I'll explain more in just a minute on how it can be that but I I've kind of rethought the stuff that not only goes in it but how I use it as well this video is sponsored by Blinkist let's get into it this is the peak design everyday bag now there is two versions of this bag there is a 20 liter version the smaller version and the 30 liter version that is what this is now I think for most people if you're not carrying around a ton of camera gear or a ton of tech gear or something like that the 20 liter version is fine um, but the 30 liter version for me is is the sweet spot this is the one that I got what I like about this bag is it's modular you can change it up depending on your needs and what situation you want and we'll get all in into that in a minute. But I wanna walk through the stuff that I'm putting in this bag and how I'm using it. So let's start with these side pockets right here. So there's two side pockets, one right here, one over here on the sides, believe it or not. I know, <laughs> weird. On this pocket right here, I have this kind of handy tripod. It's this very versatile, like, kind of like, it does all sorts of different things. Like it can be a small tripod, it can be a vlogging stick. I'm starting to do more vlogging videos now. I wanna do that stuff while I travel. Um, it's also got this really cool feature that has this hook right there and like you can hook it onto something you can tilt it up so like if you like want it to be eye level because obviously this is a short tripod if you put this on the ground it will not be eye level so you can hang it on something and like make it eye level it's just a nice tripod it's small it stays out of the way it's not uh it doesn't take up a ton of space on this side uh Water bottle. This is one of those Yeti water bottles. I actually got this for free, but not because of YouTube, because of my old day job when I was in IT, a vendor gave this to me. They put their logo on it, so I covered it with stickers to cover up their logo. Um, but yeah, best freebie I ever got from my IT career. Seriously, I love this thing. It's perfect size to fit in the side pockets, so it doesn't like, it's not like overly massive. But what's really cool about these Yeti water bottles, while they are pricely, they are kind of costly, they keep your water cold. And I'm kind of a diva when it comes to drinks. I like my drinks cold. I don't, I don't like hot drinks. I can't drink like hot coffee or tea or any of that i like cold drinks so if i'm going hiking up in yosemite i want my water to stay cold uh fun fact i live in a valley and if you take this up into like yosemite into the mountains altitude changes and because it's got this kind of cap right here if you open this up like if you fill it up in the valley and then open it up at a high altitude it shoots water out so the first time i opened this in yosemite it like sprayed me so now i know when i open it point it away from me, open it, and let you water. It, it was just a funny moment. It, it, it was pretty funny. Luckily, it was a hot day, so I didn't mind at all. All right, let's get into the bag. I'm gonna start with the top zipper. Actually, there's technically two top compartments, but I'm gonna start with what traditionally is called the laptop compartment. Now, I actually have two computers in here. I can fit both of the computers I use. So the first one, iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the Magic Keyboard, so like the biggest iPad out there totally fits fine in this bag and also the 14 inch macbook pro so i can fit both of those computers in here if i need both of them now if i'm being completely honest if i'm traveling i am not going to take both i'm going to think about what the trip entails and i'm going to take the one that's appropriate basically it comes down to a very simple question do i need to edit video on the trip if the answer is yes then i take the macbook pro if the answer is no then i take the ipad pro then there's this other compartment. So you have the main like laptop compartment. Then there's like a tablet sleeve right there. Uh, but then there's like this small pocket up top. And I, I you keep your doodads in here, your little knickknacks. Uh, so, you know, Apple polishing cloth, as we know, this is the only polishing cloth uh, that works. Every other polishing cloth, you know, it just doesn't, they're all, I'm, I'm kidding, they're fine. But I honestly, I bought a few of these because they're really nice. They, they are actually really nice polishing cloths. I know it's kind of a joke, like a $20 polishing cloth, but they are kind of nice. Double A batteries, that's for something I will get to in a bit. It's literally a break glass in case of an emergency kind of thing. 
flashlight uh, in case I end up, you know, hiking at night or I'm in Yosemite or someplace at night and I need to see. It's just a nice emergency thing. Flashlights have gotten so small. Man, I remember when I was a kid to get a good flashlight, you had one of those big mag light ones that was like, you know, like two feet long and took like four D batteries. Now this one's like one AA battery and it's like, oh, hey, that works great. Anyways, nice flashlight, totally works. This right here is a multi-tool. It's a, from a company called Small Rig. Uh, it has your typical screwdrivers, flatheads, you know, Phillips screwdriver, hex key, Allen wrench stuff. Um, really nice tool. I use this for a lot of camera gear and stuff like that. I haven't flown since I got this. So I don't, I, from what I've read, you can technically fly with this, technically but I haven't put that to the test. So I'm gonna say asterisk, asterisk. Uh, next time I fly, which I'm hoping is in July, um, I, I'm hoping uh, I can keep this in my bag, but if TSA makes me throw it away, they're not too expensive, that'll be okay. It won't be the end of the world. In fact, I actually own a couple of these just in case if I was to lose these because it's so, so handy. It's just a really nice multi-tool. Even if you don't do camera gear stuff, it's nice to have like a screwdriver, uh, flathead, you know, the, the Allen wrench stuff uh, in your bag. The uh, iPhone MagSafe battery pack. Uh, this thing actually just got a firmware update so it can actually charge the iPhone even faster. Uh, now, that's really great. I don't keep any big external batteries in my bag. That's something that has changed since I've done a what's in my bag video in the past. Um, now the thought process of what goes in my bag is very purposeful. Like everything has a purpose. And if it's like one of those things that's like, oh, I may need it, but I don't know. Like, uh, unless if it is a break glass in case of an emergency thing, like glucose tablets, like these are really important to have. But like having like a bunch of extra batteries isn't really necessary. Like one, like iPads and MacBooks, they last a really long time. Um, iPhones, they last a really long time. Like the battery life on stuff lasts a really long time. Plus if you're like traveling in a populated area, basically meaning like not a national park, there's gonna be outlets for you to plug your stuff in. This right here is, is again, a break glass in case of an emergency. If I'm up in Yosemite or something like that, uh, I use this. I know some people like the Anchor one better. I like this one because you just put it on. You don't have to turn it on. Remember to turn it on or anything like that. It's really nice. It also has reverse charging. So if you leave this on while you're charging your iPhone, it charges this as well. So that's, that's really great. Uh, and I'll explain why I really like that in a minute. But first, AirPods Pro, it's the last thing that's in this top pocket here. Um, what I, for traveling, I like AirPods Pro the most. Now, I love my AirPods Max. AirPods Max are probably my favorite headphones I own, but they are big, they are heavy, and unlike other headphones in that kind of same class, they don't fold up at all. So they're exactly the best headphones to travel with because they take up a ton of space in your bag. They're, they're not light, they're not convenient, and again, like, the, the purpose of this bag is to like really pare down and have things very purposeful. Like I do end up having a lot of stuff in this bag. So if I can pick something that's a lot lighter that takes up a you know smaller footprint, essentially, I'm gonna pick that. Now the noise canceling and stuff are fine on these, but the noise canceling on the AirPods Max are a lot better. Now, since I've got the AirPods Max, I haven't flown. Um, so when I do fly, hopefully in July, I will probably take the AirPods Max just because the noise canceling is better. But for day trips, road trips, things where I'm not flying or maybe have really short flights, I'm gonna take the AirPods Pro because they're just, they just take up a lot less space. They still have noise canceling. They do a really great job. Um, plus the case is a lot more convenient. The case charges the headphones, unlike the case on the AirPods Max. This video is sponsored by Blinkist. Blinkist is an excellent service that takes nonfiction books and pairs them down into 15 minute bite-sized text or audio explainers. There are over 5,000 titles to pick from in 27 different categories. So I can pretty much guarantee you will find something you like. One of the ones that I really like is 22 ideas for 2022. I think this is an excellent place to start. For me, I'm an incredibly slow reader. I, there's a lot of books I would love to read cover to cover, but I'm a slow reader and I get busy. I just don't have the time to do it. So Blinkist is there to kind of help me get the points of a lot of books that I would like to read, but I just can't get to. 
I really like the audio versions Blinkist has to offer. The latest one I listened to was Unsubscribe. It's about how to kill email anxiety and kind of just like not let email control your like work life. For me, my email is completely out of control. I get hundreds of emails a day. It is, it is, it's a lot to deal with. Uh, and this has been something that I've been struggling with for a really long time. And part of this just kind of helped me realize, one, I have an addiction to checking my inbox. Like the anxiety is self-imposed. What I've been doing is I give email an hour a day at a specific time and deal with it then. And then at the end of that hour, I'm done. Understand the power of ideas in 15 minutes with Blinkist. Use the link in the description below to get 25% off a premium membership and seven days free. My thanks to Blinkist for sponsoring this video. All right, so that's kind of it on this top compartment section. What What's really cool about this Peak Design bag Yes, it's designed to be a camera bag, but really it can be used for anything. So the reason why it's designed to be like a camera bag is you can open up this side pocket, really both of these side pockets, and access your stuff from the side, or you can also access this top compartment. So there's like a bunch of different ways to get into the, the main part of the bag. Another thing that I really like about this bag is on these side flaps right here, they actually have pockets. And what these pockets allow me to do is not have a tech bag so you, in a lot of like what's in my bag videos you might see somebody that has like what they call a dongle bag or a tech bag or just like a knickknack bag something something to keep all the small items in like cables and chargers and stuff like that i hate bags within bags can't stand them it's just it's like a hat on a hat to me it's redundant if you're if you are buying a nice backpack or something like that you shouldn't also have to put another bag in that like and, and the Peak Design Everyday Bag really, really thinks about that. So it has these side flaps. I'm gonna start on this right side one right here. So you can unzip the zipper. And on this side, I keep cables and a charger. So this charger right here, it is an anchor charger. It may look familiar to people that have seen this channel, but it is different. Uh, this is the only charger I carry with me. It is a two port USB-C charger, which is similar to the ones I've had in the past, but this is a hundred watt charger meaning it has enough juice to charge the MacBook Pro and it has an extra USB-C port and it's smaller than the uh, charger that comes with the MacBook Pro when you buy it, you know, the, the Apple charger. That All that stuff together, it just, it works really nice. So I'm really happy with this. So two port USB-C, 100 watts, so you can plug your laptop into this and charge your laptop. If you plug something else into the second port, it does dip down depending on what you plug into it, but it's still enough to charge the 14 inch MacBook Pro for me. As long as you're not doing like something like super intensive, like exporting 4K video while doing 3D rendering or something like that. Like as long as you're not maxing out all the CPU and GPU cores and running the fans at 100%, like it would still be enough to charge it. I really like this. Only charger I bring with me, two USB-C ports. So like I can charge my iPhone and Apple Watch. And then at night, if I'm in a hotel room, I can slap the MagSafe battery pack on there. So that gets charged up as well. Um, it, it, it's exactly what I want. I can charge iPad, everything I need, I can charge right from this guy. I don't have to bring a bunch of extra power bricks. Then I have the cables. So not anything super interesting. Uh, the MagSafe charger for the MacBook Pro, I keep in my backpack because honestly, I just think this is a good travel charger. I don't use it when I'm at home. Uh, I plug my MacBook Pro into the studio display that's right over here. I don't feel like I need this all the time. Um, it just, it, it, it makes more sense as a travel charger for me. USB-C to USB-C cable, USB-C to lightning cable, and USB-C to Apple Watch charger. Um, honestly, all of the cables, except the USB-C to Apple Watch charger, I should find one of those, but all of these cables are braided and they're just so much nicer. I, you know, spend the extra few bucks, get the braided cables. They last longer, they don't peel, the plastic doesn't break on them. I just, I love, love braided cables. It's so worth the extra few bucks. On this side, I call this pocket the uh, the pocket of misfit dongles. Uh, basically, this is the stuff I don't really wanna have to carry, but I still have to carry. This right here is a CF Express card reader. Uh, the camera I use, Canon EOS R5. It uses both SD cards and CF Express. 
I, I use CF Express for video, SD for photos. CF Express is a lot faster than SD, so it allows you to do like high frame rate stuff high bitrate 4k all sorts of like really interesting things i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get into but um yeah that's what that's what cf express cards are for so i still have to carry a cf express card reader around then i have this dongle thing right here it's the kensington knucklem uh i carry this for a few different reasons just in case i need usb a ports uh, but also sd card reader so yes the macbook pro has an sd card reader the iPad does not have an SD card reader. So if I'm doing a photography trip and just bring my iPad, I need this to get all my, uh, dump all my SD cards. And then this, I don't I don't necessarily dislike having to carry this. This is a, the uh, CalDigit Tough Nano. I think other than the water bottle, but that's not because I did YouTube stuff. This is the only thing that was sent to me. All the other stuff I paid for. Also links to everything in the description below. This is a one terabyte external drive. It's small, it's light, doesn't take up a ton of space. Again, that is a huge theme, like small, light, not, not small footprint, all that stuff, really important. Um, what I use this for is if I am filming outside the house, taking photos. If I dump the SD cards, I put all those photos or videos on whatever computer I bring with me, but then I also back them up to this hard drive just in case something happens. Maybe I didn't transfer the stuff right. Maybe, I, I don't know. There's a million and a half different things that can go wrong. I just wanna have two copies of this stuff, especially if I have to wipe a CF Express card or an SD card or something like that. Uh, I just wanna make sure I have multiple copies of my stuff in multiple spots. Uh, so that's what I bring this around for. All right, so let's get into the main part of the bag here. So you can probably see there's different sections here. So you can do all sorts of different things. These shelves can actually move and I'll get into that in a second. But what I like about this bag is, so you have this top compartment here and you can kind of see these ridges up here. Depending on how full this bag is, you can connect it to different ridges. So if you overstuff this bag, you can connect it to this top one or you can make it you know, as tight as you want it to do. Up here, I just kind of put knickknacks and stuff. Uh, right now, just kind of as a placeholder, I have uh, an ND filter. This is what a lot of people use to film outside or get like kind of like a really specific look when taking photos or videos or something like that. Uh, really handy tool if you do that stuff. It's not just for like uh, high-end cameras or something like that. There's ND filters for iPhones, drones, all sorts of different things. Uh, kind of a really nice tool if you do photography or video outside, especially video really is what it's for. But what's nice about this top part, again, like it expands so I can shove like a sweatshirt or other like knickknacks and stuff. Like if I just need to put something in my bag quickly, that's where it goes. Uh, right here is the microphone I use for vlogging, uh, Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Uh, that is what the AA batteries are for. There is a rechargeable battery in this and honestly it lasts like a week, but I bring the AA batteries in case it dies for some reason. Maybe I forget to charge it. Maybe I'm gone for more than a week, whatever. Um, because the recharging port is micro USB. I hate micro. Basically anything that has micro in the name, micro USB, micro HDMI, mm, I hate it. Micro HDMI is on my camera and micro USB is on this thing and they're the worst ports ever designed, ever. They're terrible, terrible. But anyways, it's a good mic. Uh, if you do get it, make sure you get, this is, for those that aren't in the camera gear, this this gray thing that's on it, this furry gray thing, it's actually called a dead cat. It's not actually a dead cat. I don't know where the name comes from, but it's called a dead cat. Uh, it, it's very soft. You get this, so like if it's really windy, it cuts down on all that wind noise and stuff like that. So that's what the, the furry thing is for. So what's cool about this bag is there is, on these shelf systems, you can actually like, raise up these side deals so you can make sections so you can section off your back so you could do all sorts of different things so i have this middle one sectioned off so the mic went on that side but on this side i have a camera lens right here so this right here oh i don't know if you saw that or not camera lens right there so this right here is the 50 millimeter rf 50 millimeter f1.2 this is a really really nice lens extremely costly I will put all camera alternatives in the description if you are interested in like a nice camera that's not gonna break the bank. Um, this is the lens I use for all my B-roll stuff, a lot of photography stuff. This and the lens that I'm using right now 
Uh, these are the only two lenses I own. Uh, I don't really feel the need to have a, you know, an arsenal of lenses. Uh, between these two, I can do everything I want. Um, for those that don't know, different focal lengths, so this is a 50 millimeter focal length, the other one that I use is a 15 to 35, can give you different looks, can, can do different things. This is an f1.2 lens, so it gives you a really shallow depth of field if you wanted that blurry bokeh background. Uh, so that's nice. And then this last pocket right here, hello! Uh, that is where my camera typically goes, but I am filming, so uh, that's why it's not there. Uh, I use the Canon EOS R5, and then typically what goes right here is the 15 to 35 lens that's on it. Uh, that's the F2.8 version, it's the RF version. That's what works on the R5. Um, really great combo, I absolutely love it. That's what I shoot all my videos on, shoot all my photography stuff on absolutely love it. it it is a true champ i don't have a second camera i only have one i'm thinking about getting a second camera for videos like this so i can have multiple angles so it's not just kind of like a boring static shot um but that is a big investment so i'm not quite sure if i am there yet okay so another thing i did if you look at any of the marketing stuff for this bag, you will see this bottom shelf is typically down at the very bottom. I raised it up a bit to give myself another section because I have things like SD card case and battery case. These are the Peter McKinnon Nomadic cases. Um, I really like these for one very simple reason. They're magnets. They, they, they. I hate Velcro. Uh, that's what this shelf system uses in this bag. Fine, I'll get over it. But I hate Velcro. And like every battery case uses Velcro. SD, like some SD card cases use Velcro. Oh, I hate that sound. It's nails on chalkboard to me. So I spent the extra money and got the magnet ones. Uh, this right here holds three of the normal size camera batteries. Uh, this is the Canon batteries. I've heard it works with the Sony batteries as well. Uh, I guess it just depends on the side size uh your mileage may vary these are the lpe 6 h n a b c d e f g batteries the, the ones that work on like the standard canon cameras and then this is the sd card case so i have uh v90 sd cards for uh taking stills and some video stuff honestly i bought these when i was shooting with the eos r because that's what i needed for all the high frame rate stuff that didn't do cf express stuff then I have the CF Express card section. I have three cards. One is in the camera right now. Uh, I use these SanDisk 256 gig ones. They're, they're just kind of like the, they're the best of all worlds. They're not, they're, they are expensive, but they're not as expensive as some other ones, but they are fast. Uh, they're reliable. I'm happy with them. And then they, then there's this zipper section right here. If you need like micro SD cards or something like that for drones or GoPros or whatever. Overall, nice cases. Really like these. If you do camera stuff, re really good buys. And then the last thing that's in the bag is not really anything super exciting. Uh, Canon um, battery charger. Yeah, nothing too special. So that's kind of what's in my bag. I really like, you know, this backpack because it's modular, because like these shelf systems right here, you can take them out. So like, say I didn't need this top shelf. I wanted like a bigger, bigger, you know, top area section. I could take this shelf out, get rid of that, put, you know, sweatshirt, jacket, whatever, like extra stuff in here, you know, lunch, whatever. Like I could put more stuff in here. You can change these things up and move them around in any way you want. It, like I was showing you guys, it has these kind of like section areas. There's two on each shelf. So really each shelf can be cordoned off into three different sections really nice there's just a lot of like hidden features on this bag like one of my favorite things is there's straps all over this bag so if we pull the stuff out of this pocket there is nope that's not all the stuff we need we need this guy right here see there's just a lot of really cool stuff to this bag i'm gonna put a video in the description below that peak design did like talking about all the features of this bag because i just frankly don't have time to get into all of it but uh, one of my favorites are these straps right here. So you can take these straps, if you put something in the side pocket and you can hook it up here, so you can like make sure like you, if you're putting something kind of big, it's not gonna go anywhere. So like I did that when I was carrying a full size tripod, I would put that strap there so the tripod wouldn't fall out. Now I stopped carrying a full size tripod because it really messed up my back. Like 
the reason why I'm trying to keep my backpack as light as possible is because I, I was in a car accident when I was 21. Uh, and ever since then, like if I put too much weight on my back, I will have a bad like following week. Like it's, it's bad. So there, but anyways, besides the point, there's straps on both of these side pockets. And then on top of that, there's straps down here. So really, if you're gonna carry a tripod, the best way to do it is put it right here, strap it to the bottom of this thing so it distributes the weight evenly. But like, there's just so many really cool things on this bag. Uh, one thing I added, it doesn't come with the bag, but it is another peak design thing, is this uh, camera, um, I forget what it's called, camera mount thing. Anyways, you put a little plate on the bottom of your camera, you can lock it into place. So instead of having to carry like a neck strap on your camera, which I hate, like I don't like things around my neck, um, you can just lock it right here. And then when you want it, you push this in, you grab your camera, take some photos, then you can put it right back in and it locks into place. It's not going anywhere. Just make sure you put that plate on tight. Um, use an Allen wrench. Like don't try and like finger tighten it. Honestly, it's hard to finger tighten. And I think they designed that on purpose. They really do want you to use an Allen wrench, which it comes with. Um, but like, it's just a nice thing. It, it works on old backpacks. Like you don't have to have like an everyday backpack. You just need something that fits the right measurements, which they have that on their website. Overall, really like this bag. I'm really happy with the stuff that's in my bag. So that's kind of it for what's in my bag. My thanks to Blinkist for sponsoring this video. Use the link in the description below to get seven days free and 25% off a premium membership. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day.